There's no such thing as a bad idea. You don't know what's going to be adopted and what customers are going to love. So you need to go through that process rapidly. Uh, and, and the quicker you fail, the quicker you can go through the evolution to find the perfect product. Uh, I mean, failure, failure is at the heart of uh, an innovation strategy. If you don't fail, you won't learn. And if you don't learn, you can't move forward. So implementation of any new feature, new product needs to be tested, um, tested thoroughly and learnt from. And that means you're going to have to fail in at least some areas of that, uh, that new feature or service or offer. There's no such thing as a bad idea. You don't know what's going to be adopted and what customers are going to love. So you need to go through that process rapidly. Uh, and, and the quicker you fail, the quicker you can go through the evolution to find the perfect product. Without failure, there is no innovation. I got Absolutely. you. Um, can you give some tips and pointers for companies out there that are trying to innovate and they're trying to develop their digital transformation strategy? What can they do to help harness this energy internally? I think um, a lot of it's to do with, and we're seeing this sort of increasingly, where companies are pulling out their product and tech teams from head office and putting it somewhere else. Um, because what tends to happen in, in HQ is that you've, you've got this, you get sucked into business as usual as opposed to uh, actually thinking and innovating. So increasingly we had, you know, William Hill Labs uh, was developed uh, over in Shoreditch. There are other businesses who are building similar units um, uh, outside of their head office in order to, to you know, create the buzz, create the sort of the startup feel uh, and the culture that allows uh, innovation and, and a lean approach to, to development going forward. Very good. And I know for some companies out there that want a course on some of this, we have the Digital uh, Transformation Academy coming up in September Cam in Cambridge. Uh, Marcus, can you tell me a bit about what you're going to be educating your delegates on or your students on and why people should consider attending? So the course is really aimed at trying to understand, uh, giving people, uh, companies the tools to allow them to firstly evaluate where they are in, in the readiness for, for um, digital transformation, i.e. is the business set up and structured. No business is the same, so it's not a question of saying you must do it like this and then it will work or, or do it like this and it will fail. It's a question of evaluating your own business and understanding where you are in that cycle uh, or in that setup. Um, on top of that, we start uh, discussing some various technologies which are undoubtedly coming down the road, like blockchain, like AI, and really deep diving into what are they in reality, uh, what do they mean, and what are the potential implementations for the, for the gaming sector. Um, and then as an overarching piece, we look at, well, what are the techniques to understand those technologies and when will they impact my business uh, and what, what is the consumer adoption of those technologies so that I don't end up developing something way too early, I don't end up developing something way too late, which is obviously a real killer. I, I've missed the boat, everybody else has got on it. Um, so I need to be, as a business, I should be thinking I need to be part of the disruption, um, but it's a slowly, slowly and I need the toolkits in place to allow me to monitor and make sure I'm on that path.